One thing is uh, you ladies know that regardless to what program it is, you have to have a lady somewhere in the mix to get anything done. So uh, Sister Smith has been at this a long time. And she has been selected to receive a community award for her work. Uh, her chapter was the first chapter in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. So we've asked her to share with you from her own, thought, her own heart what NAVETS is and what it means to her. First of all, I want to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the reason that we are here. And I do want to honor all the vets that are here. They made it back. Aren't you, aren't you proud of them? <laughs> National Association Black Vets. My name is Mabel Ballinger. I am the wife of William R. Smith. And our chapter 23 been in existence since 2004. We are a faith-based organization. We do believe in character. And we work through the community for the community. We help children, senior citizens, everybody. White, black, it doesn't matter. We stand for character, and that's the main thing. We deal with drug addicts, it doesn't matter. And most of all, we love the Lord. And women, let me tell you, we don't know what they seen while they were in Vietnam, Korea, or World War I, but we stand beside our men. And they don't tell us, but it's certainly an honor to be standing behind them. And you know, when they talk to these young men about what war is and going to the different parts of service and making them men and stand in the community, that is important, it is. I don't know what war is and I can't tell you, but when they come back and you look in their eyes Can you tell them what they see? No. But it is certainly good this afternoon to see a few of them, especially the airmen. And there's only a few left. I thank God. I cannot tell you what it is, an honor to walk behind men that serve in the war. It's an honor to be with them and to tell them what their eyes have seen and what they have done to come home to us. To tell my son what it is to be a man or my daughter what it is to be a lady. That is character that money cannot buy. We need to tell our young women and our young men how to be ladies and gentlemen and walk before them as such. If we live that before them, then we don't have to explain who we are. It's more than a bottle turned up and popping your fingers. You need to know who Jesus Christ is. I cannot tell you how to live, but when you go through these hard times and you bury your loved one, when they come back from war, 
It's a lot easier if you got Jesus Christ. I am a retired coal miner, firefighter EMT, and I have retired with dignity. I worked with 25 men at the fire department, only woman. They were all white men, but I left with dignity. I was the only black woman in the coal mines. I left with dignity. You can live with dignity. You do not have to explain who you are. What is your statue this evening? These men lived their life with dignity. Let's continue doing so. God bless you and may he keep you. It is a tremendous honor to present you with this award. Thank, Thank you for you. your service. Wait a minute. Photo up. They want us to step up here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you